Hey everybody, Casey Johnston here, back with just a uh, brief update from the Dwarf Dungeon. Uh, we got a rainstorm uh, going on outside, and uh, as you know, that makes for inconsistent audio, even in this bad boy here. Um, while the microphone on the camera, I don't know if it'll pick it up, the Rode NT1 does pick it up. It's a fairly sensitive mic. Um, it even makes me sound okay. Um, the camera, unfortunately, doesn't make me look okay. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, I've gotten, I don't know if I'd call it an outpouring of messages, but I've gotten many messages from many people asking how the booth uh, turned out. Was it what I thought it would be? So I thought I'd uh, go into that a little bit. Uh, yes, the booth is more than I could have hoped for, more than I could have imagined. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. I, I, I don't have enough adjectives for it. Um, I've never had a booth this quiet before that allows for a consistent room tone like this to where my daughters can actually be awake and moving around and playing as long as they're not screaming like banshees and stomping, then I, I can record without it affecting the audio even one iota. Um, the ventilation setup, which thanks again, James Foster, I've mentioned him a few times. He's a wonderful, fantastic narrator. You should check all of his stuff out. If you like my stuff, you're going to love his. He's the real voice of Quincy Harker. If you remember the John Hartness story from Storytell podcast, um, he helped me with the, uh, information on the ventilation setup. I have airflow coming in here, going past and behind me. So not into the microphone and exiting through another vent there, um, which allows me to, stay in the booth for longer periods of time without my voice getting hoarse and things like that. Uh, Joe Brookhouse is an audio engineer that helps me with FX chains and the things that I'm not smart enough to figure out on my own. And uh, he was able to take that because it's a consistent room tone. The fans create a consistent noise and he set up some FX chains that are specific to my booth. Um, and so I'm getting better quality audio than I could have ever dreamed of. Um, so I appreciate everyone there. Thanks for all the support and the people that watch the video too. Um, you know, I'm going to continue making them. I'm going to make some other build videos. I, I, I'm a craftsman or an artist at heart. Whether I'm good at it or not, well, you know, remains to be seen. And uh, I'm going to just do some other things. Whatever I want to record, I'm going to record. Why not? If you enjoy it, please subscribe, share it with people. Tell people about it. I appreciate that. Um, as far as the audiobooks go... Um, Bridge World by Travis McBee. I should have it into Travis by the end of this weekend. Um, I've got Horrors, Inc., Space Rogues 1 and 2, Inoculation 0, 1 and 2, and then Salvage Fleet, the sequel to Salvage Title, all upcoming. Um, because I'm able to record at better hours with this booth, I'm really going to be pumping and churning these things out as swiftly as possible while keeping the consistent and high-quality audio that I really demand of myself. Um, so I'm anticipating everything being out that I'm working on currently by mid to end March. That's my goal. Um, I really think I'm going to be able to hit it pretty, I don't know if I'd call it easily, but I'm going to be able to hit it. So I'm excited about that. Um, as far as tonight, rainstorm, I'm going to be writing and editing on my own. I'm going to be editing some audio and uh, I'm about to get back to it, but I wanted to give a general update. Thank you to everyone for lending me your ears and I'll read to you next time.